Good morning, friends. It's time to finally talk about the spring events here at the Tiny Shiny Homestead. Now, if you need to learn core earth bag safety concepts or learn a brand new to us natural building technique, or you just want to say hi, we've got you covered. The kittens want to know, why are we doing these spring events? Well, there's a few reasons. And the cat just Kitten. hit that. First, you may be asking, why do we even do these events? There's a few reasons. Number one, community and connection. In a world of digital detachment, we believe that making in-person and face-to-face -face relationships are more important than ever. Watching a video just does not equal hands-on. Seeing and feeling the natural building materials make all the difference in understanding them and deciding if they're right for you. Number three, we have a platform here and we feel obligated to continue to expand our education and give all of you the best chance of success for building your own off-grid dreams. There are four events coming up very soon, so let's get into it. The first event that we need to tell you about is the third annual Opt Out Expo led by Clay Greathouse. That's right. His company, Arizona Desert Rat Realty, is sponsoring and hosting this event. It's going to be in Elfrida at their community center. This is a free event. Mm -hmm. It's from 9 to 2. And basically, well, maybe we should back up and say, what is the owner builder opt out? That's a great question, Jonathan. <laughs> I would love to tell you. Thank you. Actually, can you say it? Sure. The <laughs> owner builder opt out is a a permitting option that we have here in Cochise County, Arizona, where we can opt out of most building inspections. You still have to build a code, but the option to opt out of the inspections is allowing a lot more creativity and experimentation with things like hyperdobe earth bags and straw bale and rammed earth and geodesic domes and all sorts of really cool stuff that's happening here in the county. And everyone is sort of coming together to learn more about that. We will be there with a table to talk to you about any of your questions on Hyperadobe. That's right, and but not just us. There's a whole group of people there to help you with septic and solar and rainwater catchment, finding land, building domes, like whatever it is that you want to do, there's likely someone there that can help you do it, which is a really great way to network here in the county. Yeah, I was just gonna say it's a big networking gathering. Networking. 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 Do you wanna network with us? Hey, we're gonna be there. You should come say hi. So that is the first event on February 7th. Did we say the date? Nope, it's Febu February, February 7th. February 7th, so it's not very far away. February 7th, Alfreda Community Center. See you there, okay. I think you said February 7th a whole bunch. February 7th. Okay. The next event that we need to tell you about is brand new. It's called Hyper Adobe Safety and Design 101. So we're really excited that Hyper Adobe is becoming more and more popular, but with that, we're seeing a lot of builds that aren't safe, that aren't designed properly. And I think what may be happening is people are finding Hyper Adobe through us and some other channels, and they're missing a lot of like the core earth bag concepts that they would have learned if they had started with Cal Earth and Super Adobe. They've got 30, 40 years of research and experimentation and testing that we went through when mm -hmm. we started, when we decided we wanted to build with earth bags. And then we found Hyper Adobe and started doing that. Because Hyper Adobe is so new, a lot of that information just hasn't been carried over yet. Things like a proper foundation and buttressing walls, how high can you go, and supporting openings in those hyperdobe walls. Building with earth means that your walls are gonna be like 10 times heavier than they normally would be in a traditional house. Remember when we did some tests like mm -hmm. a year ago, we were building the hyperdobe roundhouse walls and we measured a six foot section mm -hmm. five inches tall just yeah. one little section of wall six feet and it weighs 700 pounds <laughs> yeah uh, just for reference we have over a million pounds in our house build right now so far so far yeah <laughs> yeah uh, just in the walls yeah. right not including the foundation like literally just in the walls of the roundhouse there's yeah. a million pounds so the thing that we're really worried about as more and more people were building with hyper adobe is that 
if those walls are not braced properly, if they're not plumb, if they're not, the foundation isn't right, and those walls fail, I mean, you're talking about not just a catastrophic building failure, but serious, like, physical harm <laughs> and damage if that wall were to fall on you. Yeah, it's very dangerous, and I think a lot of people are just missing some of the core concepts, so we feel like a little bit of responsibility to make sure that everybody knows the safety issues and proper design. Right, and again, these are not new ideas. These are these are things that Super Adobe and Cal Earth has pioneered for years. We're just bringing these ideas into Hyper Adobe and making sure that those building this way understand them. We do think it's very important that you respect the walls because our number one goal is your safety and the safety of everybody around you. Yeah. This is going to be a two-day event. You mm -hmm. can come to the first day, you can come to the second day, or you can come to both days. Mm -hmm. We're going to tell you what they're all about. Uh, the first day we wanted to make as affordable as possible for everybody. It's only $49 and there's going to be two parts. In the morning, we're going to do a whole class about all the core earth bag safety techniques. Things like groundwork and foundations, shape, sizing, and safe heights, openings and buttresses, interlocking layers, lintels or headers, seams, doors, windows, and cleats, self-supporting arches, roofing, flooring, and plastering. So that'll be in the morning. We'll have examples and illustrations. We'll, we'll teach that class and then Lunch is going to be available for purchase to keep costs down. We're not including lunch in the ticket price. But then after that, we're going to field trip to our homestead, and you're going to get to look at the Hyper Adobe Roundhouse in person and see all those bags. All those walls are still exposed. You can see all the buttressing and the interlocking and the design decisions that were made, and we're just going to go deep dive. <gasps> Kitten. Kittens. And we're just going to deep dive and answer as many questions as possible about the whole process and design of the roundhouse so you can see it in person mm -hmm. and like feel those walls and make those decisions for yourself. Also, we do have several other finished Hyper Adobe buildings that you will be able to tour and ask questions. It'll be a fun day. And you can see the things we did wrong on those early buildings <laughs> too, because you know, sure. it's all been an experiment, right? Yep. That's why we're teaching this class. Now, day two is gonna be more expensive. It's mm -hmm. $159, but it is essentially, the whole day is gonna be one-on-one -on -one consulting. So you can either bring your already designed plans, or you can draw those plans out that day. And we're gonna look at everybody's individual plans offer suggestions, ways to increase the safety or make the design more efficient. And if somebody has like a really interesting problem, we'll share that with the group and we'll talk about it all together. Now, the class portion of this event will be made into a safety and design video that we are gonna share, but I really think, like you said, that second day is gonna be really valuable for people who are in the middle of or in the early stages of their projects, having that one-on-one -on -one feedback at that like critical point in the build is, I think, what is gonna make this event really useful for a lot of people. Now, one last thing to note is we are not licensed engineers and all of the advice that we will be giving is just based on our years of experience in building this way. So obviously this can't be considered um, legal or engineered or code compliant advice, but we've been building long enough this way and have been part of enough other natural builds that like we can spot the issues pretty quickly, right? Yeah. And our goal is just to make sure you are building the safest and most secure Hyper Adobe building possible. We're very excited about this event. So you can go ahead and start signing up now at tinyshinyhome.com slash events. Spots are limited. The third event that we'd love to tell you about is happening on March 28th. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it is the homestead tour here on the property. That's right. Our meet and greet. We do this every spring and fall. And we love meet and greets because it, there's no earth bagging. Nope. There's no building. There's just hanging out with really cool people. And I'm going to be providing lunch on this day. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. And yeah. we're going to be touring all the buildings here on the property, showing you the berm and the swell and the bathroom and the dome and the chicken garden and the house and the barn so many things to talk about yeah. jonathan's gonna get super nerdy about solar and water and yeah all the off-grid systems yeah. and really this is probably the only meet and greet where the roundhouse walls will be done 
and still visible without anything on them yet. Mm -hmm. So that if you've been wanting to see the walls finish on the house, this is going to be the meet and greet that you want to come to. Yeah, because probably in the fall meet and greet, there'll be a roof and maybe even a floor. There might be. That would be pretty exciting. I mean, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Uh, so this is 125 a person. Helps us cover food. Helps us raise money to continue building a roundhouse. Because building roundhouses aren't cheap. Um, and we would love to see you there. Yeah. This is a great way just to meet new people, too. Yeah. Super fun. Go to tinyshininghome.com slash events to sign up now. But I have to tell you about the fourth event, which is probably the most exciting event for this spring. This is the wild card, guys. I am so excited about this project. I'm excited because we're getting to work with new people, new professionals who know what they're doing. And we're learning an alternative building type that is very unknown. Like yep. there's hardly anything online about it. And it's so cool. It's beautiful. Okay, so let's let's get into it. Okay. This is going to be a Lava Crete Lodge. Yeah, the Lava Crete Utility Lodge. So lots of information here, buckle up. For the Hyper W Roundhouse, we need a separate building for the off-grid solar system, the water infiltration system, and a couple of other things. And so we're building a separate building. We're building it out of Lava Crete, which is a whole new, to us, way of building alternatively. We're also building it in six days. Yes, it is a six day workshop, April 6th through 11th. So you're probably wondering what the heck is Lava Crete? Great question. Great question, I would love to tell you. Lava Crete uses volcanic or scoria sand combined with Portland cement, lime, and rebar to create thermally efficient, highly compressive walls that need no finishing work. Did you hear me? <laughs> no finishing work. Yeah. Uh, we're really excited about that part, but it's kind of similar to rammed earth. You have forms and you mix the material, you put it in in sort of layers, you lightly tamp though. That's one thing we're really excited about. There's no heavy tamping or compacting. You actually don't want to over compact it because the whole goal of this is like to find the balance between the strength of concrete, but also insulation, sound barrier, and even art. Did we mention how beautiful it is? Gorgeous. Yeah, so you add this scoria sand in layers and the forms keep going up and up. So once you take them off, your wall is complete and it is beautiful. Yeah, no plastering required. Mm -hmm. And you see all those subtle layers that you, and you can use different color sands and like really create like cool designs in mm -hmm. it. It's, it's pretty cool. It's thermally efficient, acoustically insulated, fire resistant, termite resistant, and it's way less work than earth bags. So much less work. <laughs> We're building this 12 by 16 shed, all the walls in just six days. Yeah, that's the workshop. Plus, scory sand is actually a waste product of landscape lava rock. So there's potential cost savings here as well. We're gonna keep track of all that. We're gonna let you know how it all shakes out. Now, we've never led a Lava Crete workshop before, so we're bringing in the professionals. First up is Guru Das from Awareness Ranch. Right, uh, he's been doing commercial and construction work for the last five years in Tucson. Lava Crete stuff that's, that's permitted and code compliant. And so we're excited for him to run this workshop and teach us exactly how to do it. There's also Paul Schwamm. He's been the driving force behind a lot of the Lava Crete technology for the last 30 years. He has over 25 code compliance structures built in Tucson. And so we're really excited that he's going to be a part of this event as well. So like we said, this is a 12 by 16 utility shed. It will house solar gear on one side, water pump and filtration on the other side, and have a small guest bathroom. And our, our goal with this building and using the Lava Creek technology is to build something that is sort of as thermally efficient as possible. We really want the water not to freeze inside, but also the solar gear not to overheat inside during the summer without having to add additional like electric heating and cooling. That's right. that's the goal. The goal <laughs> is to not have to put a mini split in this building, right. but we are going to build it in a way that if we needed to, we can. Right. This so is all an experiment. Right? It is, yeah. So we're gonna heavily insulate the floor and the ceiling to really help with that. We're gonna have a long south facing wall for thermal mass transfer with during windows. the winter, possibly with windows. Um, so we're really trying to design this thing so that we don't have to think about it once it's there. 
All the lava creek walls will be done during this six day workshop, but we'll also be covering how to build the forms for building a structure like this, how to do right. the corners, how to do the windows, the doors, the lifts. We'll be talking about conduit for utilities. You'll get to see all of this in action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like our goal is we want to sort of empower you to take all this information and go start your own lava creek project on your own. So again, this workshop is April 6th through 11th. You can camp on site. Yep. I'll be providing breakfast and lunch every day. Does anybody want some bacon and eggs? <laughs> yes. Yeah, and because we are bringing in instructors and we have a lot of materials to buy, this one's a little more expensive. It's about $1,000 per person for the week. But like I said, you get to camp here, we're gonna feed you, and you get to learn a really cool building technique that not a lot of other people know about. And one that doesn't require plastering or finishing work. Right, and it's gonna be way less labor intensive than our earth bag workshops. Yeah, so if you remember Jonathan tamping all these <laughs> walls, uh, just for reference, the tamp is literally a piece of rebar with like a three by three square on it. And you just go boop, 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 because mm -hmm. you, you don't want to over compress it. Nope, I very love easy. It. I love it. And also the plan is to pull all those forms off and let you see the that finished project day. on the last day before you leave. So I think the Lava Crete Utility Lodge is going to be a really cool project. Very excited about this. You can sign up now. It's at tinyshinyhome.com slash events. Okay, there you have it, friends. Four events coming up this winter and spring. You can sign up for all of them at tinyshinyhome.com slash events. Email us if you have any questions. We really hope that we get to see you there and we get to learn some new stuff together. And we have not forgot about the roundhouse. Oh, no. Don't forget to watch Saturday's video where we're starting to build the bonding. It's nuts. We'll see you then. Bye.